So now let's see how we can add members to individual cards and invite members to Trello board. So for that, I'm going to uh, create a team first. And to do that, I need to go to invite right here. And it says it's time uh, for a team. So I'm just going to click on create team. And I'm going to say tutor tube board right here. And then the team type is here. It says marketing and everything else is like this. So I'm just going to go to education and click on create team. So it creates a team for me just like that. So once I do that, I'll be able to uh, invite others. So the team has been created and it says invite to board. So I can uh, invite with a link right here by creating uh, a link or type in an email address. So I'm just going to type in an email address just like that and invite the other people. So over here uh, in my contact, there's this tutitude. So I'm just going to type in tutitude2 uh, at outlook.com just like this so that I can send an invitation. and. Uh, it uh, says that the user has not signed up for uh, uh, signed up for a Trello board yet. But anyways, if I were to send this invitation, the email will be sent and they will be added onto the board as soon as they sign up. So I'm just going to skip the sign up process so that we can follow, follow up along now. And then I skipped out the sign up process and signed up with my second account just like in lesson one. And now you can see that T2 is here. So now we have two members. So we have Tutor Tube and Tutor Tube 2, just like this. So now what I can do is assign uh, members onto different Trello cards. Let's say, for example, for scene eight, I'm supposed to do it. And for scene nine, the other member is supposed to do it. What I can do is to assign members, I can simply click on here. And then here you can see that uh, I have the uh, card option. So for scene eight, let's say I'm going to add to cart. So I want to assign a member. So if I were to click over here, you can see right over here that I can search for members if there are many uh, team members. You can also show other team members if there are other team members, uh, like there are different teams that you set it up. But in my case, there are just two team members. So I'm just going to assign myself this one. And what happens is that now, Tutor tube is assigned onto this card. So if I were to close it, you can see that now I know that this is to be done by me. If I were to go to scene nine and go on to members, then what I can do is I can assign tutor tube two right here. And now I know that this task is to be done by the second member. I can go on to scene seven. Maybe this is to be done by both of us. So I can go over to member and assign both of us right here. So if you have a lot of people, then what you can do is you can assign individual members. And then what happens is that uh, you know who uh, has to do the work. So they can go around and assign members to it. So I'm just going to assign member to all of these right over here. So I'm going to go around, assign team member two. I'm going to go around, assign team member just like this. So let's just assign team member two uh, just like this. And one thing that you might notice is that whichever uh, is the one that I'm assigned in, you can see the eye icon because I'm on what's for that particular assignment. So I'm just going to go around to member and assign the, the member just like this. And this is how you can assign members or member inside of uh, Trello cards so that uh, you, you exactly know who has to do what. So that is how you can create teams, add members on boards and cards using Trello. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.